It's Sunday the 7th of May 2017. Where are we going? Hello, it is Saturday uh, the 8th of May. It's Monday. What did I say? Saturday. <laughs> We've come down to Plymouth Hoe because this journey isn't just about the railways, we want to explore all the different sites of Great Britain. So we've come from the train station down to the seafront to Plymouth Hoe to meet this chap, Sir Francis Drake, who many of you will know is famous for being the Vice Admiral of the English fleet during 1588 when the Spanish Armada approached the English shores. And it is allegedly said that he was playing bowls here on Plymouth Hoe when news of the approaching armada reached him and he said it's okay I have time to finish my game and to speak the fact oh. oh. <laughs> all of it yeah oh. on a stick. it's Thursday the 10th of May day four we're at Barnes when Hall. Wednesday Jeff <laughs> But before we leave, we've just come a little bit ways down the road to show you what was another train line in Weymouth. Sorry, I thought you were gonna go. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go into the traffic. Don't use this bit. Don't even use this bit as the outtake at the end. Don't even use this bit at the outtake at the end, even though I've said don't use this bit at the outtake at the end. Definitely don't use this bit. Roland. This is Windsor Guildhall. Uh, the you're my favourite Greater Anglia Guard, by the way. Oh, good. Glad of to that. Today. Today. That's hey. right. Yeah. The cathedral just behind me, which is absolutely stunning, is probably most famous for uh, one of the burial places of Catherine of Aragon. Not one of them. She's only been buried once. We need more stations. One, two. Okay, so get, get square, touch the square, and that square. Go that way about an inch. There we go. Day 34, it's Friday the 9th of June. Got Spondon. Good morning! I wasn't ready. Oh. No, I, I could just buy some underwear in. I'm sorry. I, I disagree with this plan. I just. I just <laughs> Throw it away after two days, three days. What's so wasteful? What's the maximum? Well, do I put it in a recycling clothes bin? No, but that's weird. You can't put underwear in a recycling clothes bin. What's the maximum amount of time that you'd be happy with wearing the same pair of underwear? One day. <laughs> so there is a castle in Shrewsbury, but Jeff has told me that I've seen too many castles already, so I'm not even allowed to go and look at it. But it is here. It's just behind me. Even though we went to Hanwell yesterday. We did not do Hanwell. We couldn't catch our train to or from. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, apologise for the slight delay here. The train just leaving us on platform four is uh, crossing the pass in front of us. So until this curve clears the next signal, we'll not be on our way. It should be in a few minutes time. No, we're, we're just going to edit that in. Okay. Welcome. To all the stations. You know, the nice man that we were talking to in the ticket yeah. office at Stroud, yeah. who was really helpful, who yeah, told exactly. us lots, but then served a customer and there was some kind of discussion about a rail card and the woman walked away going, thanks for being so bloody unhelpful then. And I was like, that's not, and I'm standing there with my camera and two other people walk in and one of them said, what are you waiting for then? And I didn't think they were talking to me and I, kind of, I thought she was talking to her friend and I turned and she went, yeah, I'm talking to you, Seth. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Welcome to Stroud! <laughs> but it's so pretty here! <laughs> That's the first time I've been mistaken as a, 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 you know, she obviously thought camera, train spotter. <laughs> it was a woman! Two, two women, yeah. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> Stroud, I'm sure you're lovely. What are you waiting for yourself? Bacon sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the fact was going to be much more interesting than that. Hey! 
So the first man ever to die was William Huskisson. Have I got that right? Huskisson. And he uttered the immortal words, I have met my death, when he was told that his leg was so badly injured by being mangled by the rocket that he wasn't going to live. I should get that on a t-shirt. I have met my death by trains. The death of someone on a railway brought to the attention of the world that you know mass transit at speed was now possible. His death was like a really good advert for the railways. I don't know why I'm laughing. You can't say that. You can't put that in. No, this, focus this, focus this, 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 and put them on some real Shoot Tim, shoot off camera. So, this morning is a little bit of a different video today. What, what's with the hat? What, you keep putting your hand in my face. I'm practicing my quaintometer for later. I'm putting my arm around him as if I've known him years. It's probably like uncomfortable. Hey. Hello. Hello. Uh, I am vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your new mechanic. It's green and red. I like it. It's pastel. Well, you're, you're now technically in the suburbs of Glasgow, so you've made it from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Have you noticed the subtle change of accent? <laughs> Sorry, I had to run back up the hill. <laughs> I haven't quite recovered. So at the weekend, when we're in Glasgow at the weekend, we'll probably make a trip to Edinburgh to pick up those skip stations. Are you enjoying your, your snow? Vic is make, she's making a mess. Marshmallow on me. Is this what it's like to be you? So, Vicky, what do you think? <laughs> I've got hiccups. <laughs> Don't use that. Use it as the outtake, obviously. Please use it. Please use it. What you're telling me is even in the remote Scottish Highlands, in a gift shop, you, you found a Harry Potter thing. Yes. Okay. I have to buy it. What you doing? Are you telling them more geeky facts? I said no more. Mind that. This is the Cairngorms National Park. <laughs> 